In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our TinyDB storage to uh, store a variable. So we can see as we have this set up here, uh, we have a label just for the text, a text box input here. I have a button that I called store button. I have a display that I, uh, or a button that says display storage. So I'm going to click this button, display what I stored in the TinyDB. And I have my stored text label, which is here as well, which is blank. And I've come down to storage and I've dragged in my tiny DB storage. So this is my design screen. The coding on this is rather simple. So I'm going to come here and click when I click on my store button. Well, I want to display what I'm going to store. So I'm going to go to set my uh, label one's text, that original label that I created, uh, with what's ever in my text box. And I want that text box text. Now I'm going to call my storage unit to store this value. Uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to have it store my as my tag, meaning what I'm tagging it as. I'm going to tag it as text. And I want to store whatever's in that text box one. I'm then going to take my uh, text box. So I'm going to come back to my text box. text and I want to uh, clear that out. So now I've stored it, but I want to be able to call on that now. So I, you know, if I wrote a variable or initialized the variable as a number or as a text, now I want to be able to, after storing it here, I want to be able to call it. So I'm going to go to my display button that I've created and I'm going to uh, set my storage text, that text label that I created to display my stored text. I'm going to come to my, my tiny DB now and I'm going to uh, get my value. So I've stored it here. Now I want to get it. Well, what do I want to get it as? Whatever uh, I tagged it as, and that's going to be my text tag. So if the value is not there, it's going to display nothing. So I'm going to come over to my emulator, and I'm simply going to type in hi, Bob. I'm going to store my text. It shows me here on this first label. I'm going to delay or display my storage, and you can see that it says he, Bob. So if I come here now and type in good morning, I'm going to store that under that text label. We can see it here and display that. So I'm storing one value here. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to store across multiple screens, store information across multiple screens.